Hey Keto Peeps, it's Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food. And today I'm going to show you how to make the best sugar-free keto caramel sauce. I mean, is there anything better than gooey caramel sauce drizzled over your favorite ice cream? I'll tell you what's better, caramel sauce that doesn't spike your blood sugar. This has been a fan favorite for a long time because it's easy, it's delicious, and it tastes just like the real thing. The key to a great keto caramel sauce is choosing the right sweeteners. I like to use a combination of Swerve Brown for color and flavor and Bocha Sweet or Allulose, which gives it a gooier consistency. It also helps it keep from recrystallizing as it cools. So you wanna start by choosing a good sized heavy duty saucepan. This only makes a cup of caramel sauce, but it does boil rather vigorously and you just wanna make sure it doesn't boil over. Then you want to add a quarter cup of butter, a, quart, a quarter cup of the Swerve Brown, and a quarter cup of Bocha Sweet or Allulose. And you wanna let everything melt and whisk them together. And then you wanna bring them to a full boil over medium heat and boil for three to five minutes until it really starts to thicken but you wanna watch it very carefully, making sure it doesn't burn. You do need to make sure you cook it long enough so that it thickens properly. So just keep your eye on it. Once the mixture is darker in color and seems a little thicker, you wanna remove it from heat right away. Then you're gonna add half a cup of heavy whipping cream and watch it boil. It does bubble quite vigorously and that's perfectly normal. Now to help it thicken up properly and become more syrupy, you're going to add a little xanthan gum. I have a quarter teaspoon xanthan gum and I like to lightly sprinkle that over the surface while whisking so that it incorporates nicely. <laughs> Thanks Griffin, that's the cat. And then to add really great flavor, you're gonna whisk in a quarter teaspoon salt. If you want a more salted caramel flavor, you can add another quarter teaspoon. And finally, you wanna return the sauce to the heat and bring it to a boil for one more minute. This just makes it nice and thick and caramel-like. Now at this point, your caramel sauce is incredibly hot. Resist the urge to lick your spoon or your whisk because you will burn your tongue. You need to let it cool to lukewarm before you can do anything else with it. And now our caramel sauce has cooled down and it's lukewarm and you can see here that it is a beautiful caramel consistency a nice thick sauce. It will continue to thicken as it cools. And if you want a thinner sauce, you can just whisk in a little water at this point. Depending on what you plan to use it for, you might want it thicker or thinner. You can also whisk in a little more salt if you want that salted caramel flavor. So what do you do with your gorgeous gooey keto caramel sauce? Well, you can drizzle it over ice cream. You can use it as the glaze for a cake or some donuts or you can put it in my keto salted caramel butter bars. Or you can just eat it with a spoon. For this delicious keto caramel recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.